Hello, welcome to Blender Sushi channel. My name is Jimmy. I'm the Blender Sushi guy. Um, thank you for visiting this channel. Um, this is just a quick casual introduction to this channel. If you visit this uh, channel for the first time. So basically, I used to do um, this uh, Blender Sushi blog and I'm still doing it. Um, even though it's not like a daily thing. These days I'm doing a lot of um, live noting in my YouTube channel that you're watching right now. And I'm using Blender for all kind of uh, computer graphic works and it's uh, all like uh, my personal ex experiment and then study and then all kind of things that I do in Blender. But I'm doing it using um, notes and if you, if you want to follow all my live noting videos the you you first um, need to download Blender. Um, currently, the one I'm using is Blender 2.78a. Um, Blender is a um, really awesome um, open source 3D software that you can just download for free and install the latest. So if you just uh, go to Google and then s search for download Blender, you should get um, the latest Blender from Blender.org. So just go there. Um, maybe soon they will have like an updated version, version 2.8. I think by the time it reaches Blender 3.0, it's gonna be like totally awesome. Um, there should be version for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, whichever your operating system is. Um, once you have Blender, in order to follow my live noting video, you also need um, animation notes add-on and SketchUp add-on. So I'm gonna show you how you can download it. Basically, you go to GitHub and then find animation notes. The one that's official for animation notes is a uh, version 1.6, I believe. So I'll, I'll gonna quickly download it. Um, basically, you go to GitHub and then you click on this clone or download and download as zip and then you should get the zip and the same thing also you need to download SketchUp from the GitHub. You find GitHub SketchUp and I can't remember which version we have now but it's, uh, it's going strong. It's almost version 1 but there's uh, like so many like hundreds of updates every day sometimes. Um, these are the two main add-ons that you should always have if you want to follow my live noting video. Um, I do a lot of things in Blender um, mostly using nodes. Um, it's not a common thing but I think it's gonna becoming more common um, in the future. So I started from scratch. I, I cover a lot of stuff mainly from the basics to kind of intermediate level. Um, it's sort of my uh, my own study, but I also want to share it with you guys um, all my findings and how I can understand stuff so grab this two and then just put it in a desktop once you have the zip you simply um, install it into blender so I'm gonna rename this real quick so one two three zip okay um, one thing to uh, uh, to note that in order to follow this, you need to have some kind of basic understanding of Blender, like um, just the way you can navigate around Blender in 3D space, um, how you can go into one layout to another layout. I'm mostly working in a compositing layout and it looks like this by default. Blender has its own node base uh, system, like um, when you are working in a material or texture, especially if you are using cycles, uh, Blender um, secondary renderer, or now it become the main renderer. If you are also if you are using compositing or making a texture or uh, making a material in cycles, you will you gonna use nodes. But um, in my uh, channel, Blender Sushi, you are gonna use a lot of animation nodes and SketchUp. Um, they are all like work in progress so but at even at the current state they're really like 
super powerful add-on that's gonna unlock a lot of Blender features that normally people don't think of. So, in order to install it, you just go to File, User Preferences, and then Install from File, and then just point into where you put the zip. Um, I go to Desktop, and then there's this Animation Nodes. I'm gonna install it real quick. And then now we have animation nodes. We need to tick it and just wait a few seconds. Now it's uh, animation nodes installed and just gonna save user settings. And I will also open up, uh, actually, gonna install SpreadShop. SpreadShop Master, just install it. Just check that thing and wait a few seconds. And SpreadShop is installed. With Spreadshock, you have uh, like a cool way to update Spreadshock time to time. Um, now you see um, we have Spreadshock and we have animation nodes. With Spreadshock, um, you will see here real quick. I want to show you to you. Spreadshock has this uh, cool um, import and export. So every now and then, I will mention about um, exporting to GIS or importing from GIS. This is actually a quick way you can export um, like a node setup that I made in Spreadshop and just put it into GitHub and they call it GIST and yeah it's really really cool uh, definitely something you're gonna use a lot if you use Spreadshop and Spreadshop if you time to time if you want to check updates you just click on this guy and then it's gonna check okay there's a new updates and then just upgrade Spreadshop and once once it's done, normally it will tell you, okay, just hit F8 or restart um, Blender. Okay, it's actually it's just uh, restarting itself. Um, quickly, I'm gonna reopen Blender. That's a kind of a, a funny things, the common thing that's often happen. But I'm gonna open Blender real quick. And just wait a few seconds. And if you save all the preferences, you should have Spreadshop and animation nodes ready all the time. And that's what I'm gonna be using um, almost always all the time while uh, using while doing the live noting. Okay, Spreadshop and animation nodes. Okay, and. Once you have that installed, you just you can just use it. Like uh, let's say with Spreadshop, if you create node tree and then you wanna generate um, all kind of uh, stuff uh, using nodes, you can create lines, planes, and go on box, circle, whatever. This is like a bunch of stuff the generators that Spreadshop provides to you. You can you know just create a circle for example, and then you create a viewer node or image you just plug it plug the into the attributes like um, you need the vertices and then the polygon and you get a circle and that's all procedural and this is all node based and you can say you wanna adjust the edges you can do that as well and you have these edges and if you want look let's say you wanna turn it into skin you can use this, plug that in, plug that in, make it live, as simple as that. You have a skin modifier and if you have this circle and you can change the number of vertices. Yeah, it's that simple basically, the nodes, and there's a lot of nodes, just give it a try. Uh, and then you have animation nodes here, that's, um, I'm gonna do something real quick. The easiest way to start is to use the object transform output. Let's say you want to animate this guy. Simply, I'm gonna turn off always because it tends to be slow that way. I just grab this uh, object that I created using Spreadshop and then I'm gonna perhaps uh, do a wiggle rotations. Quickly use a Euler wiggle 
plug this guy in and we are good I can just use uh, like a frame number plug into the evolutions and just let it run and then maybe increase the speed like six times increase the rotation increase the persistence and then we have this uh, wiggle wiggly type of animations um, in full screen it, it's gonna run uh, really really fast so gonna set it back to speed maybe speed 2 and then go to full screen okay that's a yeah just a quick introduction uh, how you can install animation nodes add-on and spread add-on into blender so you can start using nodes to to work inside blender um, they both are add-ons but I think they should be part of blender maybe one day once blender has this um, all nodes particle nodes and like um, some kind of system that's using nodes maybe animation nodes and spread chalk becoming more um, maturing and then um, you can use more nodes inside blender so yeah it's a it's a big thing I think it's a still early I guess but maybe in few years time in the future like near future blender is gonna be so powerful once it's using all nodes even even now um, as its current state, I think Blender is really great for artists, great for designers. It's kind of the tools that you, you want to always have on your computer. You want to put it into USB because it's a, it's open source, it's free, it's, uh, you don't need license to it. It's, it's already yours and you can use it for your own works, uh, whether it's for 3D printing or if you want to do like modeling or making like a motion graphic stuff or editing um, or creating like 3D animations, character animations, uh, visualizations, Blender can do it, no problem. You can compare it to other 3D package like Maya, Houdini, don't worry, Blender can handle it all like uh, in its own way. Um, and even better because you can install it on any computer, you don't need like like an expensive license for it, um, Blender is like your own tool. Um, of course, if you're working in a studio that uses like other 3D package, uh, you need to learn that package. But for your own, I think Blender is like uh, really, really awesome. Thanks to the Blender foundations and all these uh, developers and and Blender artists are really like great. They they like to share their knowledge and they're they're all around. There are so many really good Blender artists around you that you can ask question. Like uh, yeah, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my casual introductions to Blender Sushi channel. I'm kind of working on a book called The Joy of Noting. Um, that might be like like a future, like it's long, like a long project. Um, but every day I try to do like this uh, live noting and slowly maybe I can one day make this uh, book into reality otherwise maybe it's becoming like um, like a digital magazine or something I don't know uh, I think this kind of notes needs to be um, the knowledge needs to be shared and it's more like a collaborative things um, that's one thing that I want to point out that blender is all about the community and it's not about proprietary it's not like a um, owned by studio or big companies uh, it's like from from everyone for everyone and to use uh, at any time so yeah anyway that's pretty much it um, hopefully it's useful and yeah just try installing this uh, animation nodes and spread job into blender and then see uh, what you can come out with so it's gonna be really fun um, even if you're afraid okay I'm not like a programmer this is like a visual programming using nodes right and there's a lot of uh, numbers dealing with numbers and math don't worry it's um, eventually you're gonna get comfortable with it and you can easily um, generate a lot of cool stuff um, yeah just uh, have fun with it uh, give it a try just install the add-on first if you have any question you can always ask me or ask at the uh, blender stacks exchange because I often go there 
You can also email me, although I don't always reply right away. I, I, I read your email and then I'll reply um, as soon as I, I can, okay? Thanks again for tuning in to this channel. Hopefully, um, you can follow me and then give me suggestions and feedbacks. And I'm happy to answer all your questions. Okay, thanks again. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.